Mother Stick here to do a video that I had previously mentioned a couple weeks ago that I was going to do. And that is to do a direct comparison between the new Busby made Blitz 6 under the Adventure Force line and the X Shot built Destroyer also under the Adventure Force line. Makes, makes a very good compelling comparison to when these two are going to be sitting on the shelf next to each other to check these out. Now, they are very, very similar in their overall design and even aesthetics, with each of them being a six-shot front-loaded pistol with a rear pull prime and spring-powered. One is priced at $7.49, the other is at $6.97, so seven versus $7.50. They're within two quarters of each other. They both come with what you'd say are just okay darts to get you going. But they both have very similar intentions to be an economical alternative to something like the, say, Nerf Strongarm or Disruptor. Probably the Disruptor more so because that's the front-loaded six-shot without the pop-out cylinder like the Strongarm has. Strongarm's still kind of unique just for that purpose. But compared to the Disruptor, I actually would rate both of these higher. So unless you're wanting the slam fire on the top prime, the Disruptor hasn't, doesn't really have anything on either one of these. That's why I'm going to compare these two, and only these two. Because, either way, unless you're just a diehard Nerf fan, or you want that slam fire, I would pick either of these over the Disruptor. Now, in my review, in my very first review of a Nerf Blaster ever on YouTube back in 2017, I loved the original of the uh, X-Shot Reflex. This is the recoloring and repackaging under the Adventure Force line, specifically for Walmart, but the X-Shot Reflex has endured as my favorite pistol all along the way. It provides a simple to use package that's as basic as it can get, and I mean that in a good way. There's no frills, there's nothing really to go wrong, it's easy to mod, it's easy just to use in stock form, and provides above average performance in its stock form with it firing in the upper 70s with, and even into the low 80s with the included X-Shot darts. These are not highly accurate. They're maybe just a touch better than Nerf Elites, depending on what you're trying to do, because at range they, even, they can get to be even worse because they get their high velocity from being so light. So if it's windy, their accuracy will be even worse. But they do produce high velocities and long range. So that's these. <laughs> the included darts on the uh, Blitz 6 it's an updated version of Busby's long distance darts. They are a little bit improved over the past. I did some pretty extensive testing and they do provide a little bit better accuracy. They're not going from, you know, what they were to competing with Adventure Force waffle tips. Those are still better by a lot, but notable improvement for like zero cost increase. And these do also provide a long range dart, which these actually will hit the claim range, but requires you to go way up 45 degree angle, fire into the fire into the stratosphere, and a few of them will whirl their way to 100 feet. That is how it hits the claim. Some of them are going to fall well short, but some of them will swerve and take off into the atmosphere and then come down at 100 foot. Yes, I haven't I haven't actually shown you the range tests from this one, but that's exactly how it happened. <laughs> but I'll put a range test up in future videos. But comparing the two, they actually do follow that same basic idea. A cheap pistol that outdoes the Nerf Disruptor. But it stays simple. They both are a rear pull and fire your six shots. And go. Simple enough. Easy to use, easy to re reload, cheap to buy. So comparing the two directly, looks are objective. You take a look at these two, somebody's going to like the color scheme of one better than the other. I actually am split. I like both of them. The, uh, this is one case where the Busby, as far as we're going to 
look looks wise again it's your choice but this is a case where the busby actually feels like the more solidly built product this actually has zero creak zero shake there's shake to this there is creak and yes this is a new one out of the package this is a this is the current the red is what i currently can go get at my local walmart which is where i got this but this is the current model and it has it has really no big complaints but it has some rattle and that is the uh, rear pull can shake in the shell and the cylinder has a little bit of shake which is kind of odd that it can actually rotate a little bit on its own but it never has any feeding issues it always seems to the, the rotation mechanism always seems to get it caught back and realigned just right so reliability wise no issues construction wise a little bit of an edge to the busby I know that seems a little odd at times doesn't it <laughs> normally that's one of the things that you're looking for them to improve a little bit but the x shot feels a little lighter in the hand and it feels a little lighter built the busby feels basically almost like a club it's like bam whack somebody with it instead of shooting a dart it's kind of what it feels like don't do that though but ergonomic wise i actually think the x shot has a little bit of an edge the grip is more open it, the big thing with the Busby Blitz 6, which Adventure Force Blitz 6, but I'm going to call it Busby because it keeps it separated from me. This yellow piece is in the way. It makes it to be a tight fit for you to have to push your index finger in to get to the trigger. If this was not there, this would receive higher marks from me. The grip is also still a little on the smaller side, even though it is far, far better than most Busby grips in the past. I would rate this as a good grip, not a great grip. This, on the other hand, is a great grip. This has more room on it. The only issue is a couple of little nubs down here at the very bottom, but they, they've done a very good job. X-Shot, which is owned by Zuru, they did a very, very good job in designing a grip that contours to your palm, fits the webbing of your, your thumb and index finger just right, and the trigger guard has more than enough room for no matter what size your your finger and hand are there's a lot of room in there to be able to to comfortably grab and not have to you know focus on pushing your finger into a narrow gap and the t pulls are almost absolutely identical the slight edge to the busby for being a slightly larger t pull they are not identical the the busby is slightly i mean just a few millimeters so if you had a larger hand, the Busby, the Busby pull is just a little bit roomier and gives it a slight advantage. But overall, ergonomic advantage would be to the X shot. Now, pulling them apart, I haven't released my mod video on this yet because I haven't, I haven't decided what spring I was going to do, and I haven't brassed the cylinder yet for it. So that's what I'm waiting on. So I need to brass the cylinder, and I need to decide what spring goes in it. But I'm going to note, note this now. The plunger tube is short in this. It's a large enough diameter to get decent performance, but it is short. There is a little bit more mod potential, I do believe, on the X-Shot Reflex. Down to two reasons. One, more space inside with more room for the plunger tube. And the fact that the cylinder, while being larger in stock form... It gives you more room. I mean, look how compact. Look how compact the cylinder is on the Blitz 6. That's this one. The Blitz 6 cylinder is as efficient space-wise as it's going to get. There is literally no room to make that a, you know, say a 7-shot or 8-shot or 9-shot, which has already been done with the Reflex. I have an 8-shot cylinder in mind that was made by Radioactive Designs. You know, Trip Miller, who runs that, he makes all sorts of cylinders for the X-Shot Reflex. He does everything from... It, it can actually take a front attachment that is a drop-in piece that allows it to fire demolisher missiles. You're not going to be able to do that with the Blitz. It is a six-shot, and unless you're going to do like a inline cylinder that allows you to double stack uh, half-length darts... Outside of that, I don't see a whole lot of choices for this. Somebody might be able to make a spigot style attachment so that you could fire megas 
or Omega XL. I do think that there's room in there for that. I don't think there's room for anything else, though. I don't think you could... You might be able to make a spigot to where you could fire uh, demolisher missiles, but it was going to have to come out and it would have to actually sit outside of the shell because the Busby shell is not large enough for a demolisher missile to go down in, whereas this shell is. So big, the extra room, and this isn't really that much bigger and bulkier. When you look side to side, it has a, this has a slimmer side to side profile than the X shot but it's just as big top to bottom. And it's mostly because of that, that yellow piece, which doesn't really serve a purpose. Because yes, I have taken it apart, but this one, this this is basically just the void. I, I guess it's on there for aesthetics. Add a little extra color. But removing this, removing this makes this be more slender. So holsterability in stock form is the same. <sighs> Once, if you were to do some, some quick, you know, pull it apart, pull this out, maybe slap in a bit of epoxy to smooth out now the uh, the void that's left when you remove this piece, you'd be looking at a sl more slender pistol than this. However, there's much more that is available to be done already on the market for this. Some people may make some things in time, but I don't see this as having the big background support that the ref reflex has enjoyed, or destroyer in this case. So, modability is pretty clear. That's an advantage to X-Shot. So, stock performance then. If this is better ergonomics and modding wise, and this is better in initial build quality. That sound, why do I sound like the JD Power Associates? Initial build quality. It's like, okay, <laughs> that's, Initial build quality, this. Ergonomics and modability, reflex, destroyer. Now, initial performance is a draw. Now, I have seen where others, like when Drac did his review of this, he did not get great performance out of his. Now, mine has been a consistent, on my review, when I did my chronograph session, I got an average of 78. In a follow-up session, I got 76 as my average. And that's just overall darts. Yes, you can just put the X shot darts in and you will see higher performance. I got up into the 80s with them and with Busby Precise Pros, which are no longer sold in retail packages. So I can't, can't really go by that. A mix of darts, whole big bin of testing darts. These are what I use. It's got everything in there. Averages of 76 on my second chronograph session. This is still averaging up in the upper 70s. I got actually 78. My first chronograph session for my review, I got 78 with this. With the X-Shot Reflex darts, I can get up over 80 with either pistol. So, and I know um, Milo's Mods, he, he said he, he claimed to get 90 with X-Shot darts in his Blitz 6. So, for me, I, I seen in the 80s, but I had to give it a draw. Stock performance. Now, Drax didn't have the performance mine does, but I can only review what I have. And I have a ton of these, and they always get in the middle to upper 70s. Always. And a couple of them have like, good seals straight out of the factory, and they'll touch 80. So, pretty close. Enough to call it a draw. So, stock performance is a draw. Modability is definitely an X shot. That's definitely an X-Shot Reflex or Adventure Force Destroyer advantage. Ergonomics are definitely the advantage of the X-Shot. So, coming down to a conclusion. If you're going to pick Blitz 6 or the Reflex, also known as the Destroyer, especially when you walk into your local Walmart and you see here on the shelf in the Adventure Force section, there's the Blitz 6, there's the Destroyer. Which one are you going to grab? Well, grab the Destroyer. You're not going to be disappointed. And yes, I'm known as the Busby guy, as you can see all over. But in this case, X-Shot has the better product. It's 50 cents cheaper. Offers far beyond, in, especially in the current stage, far beyond the potential for mods that the Blitz 6... Right now, Blitz 6, you're on your own. That's just quite simple. You're on your own. You do what you can with what you can figure out spring-wise, brass your own cylinder, 
come up with your own seals. That's what I'm doing. That's what you're going to have to do. But the Reflex already has mods out there. I mean, there are dedicated springs. Um, people have... I wish NF Strike was still selling springs and stuff for, for blasters because they had a number of selections for this. But you can... I run the stock spring paired up with a Nerf Strongarm spring, and it works very nicely. Easy, easy mod to do. And you can even uh, take the cylinder part, epoxy it together, because that's one of the weak points of of this, is some people have had the front of the cylinder blow off under high spring loads. I never have. But it's part of because I also do that fix before it ever happens. And then go to, go to Etsy. Hit up Radioactive Designs. Check out his selection. Have him make you some, make a new cylinder if you want instead of brassing it. Get his uh, reflex kit or his advanced reflex kit to kill some of the dead space, and you can even get him to convince him to make you a rear loading port and the uh, brackets for a skeletonized cylinder. I'm still working on mine, but you can do all that, and you can have a, a pretty big powerhouse of a pistol here. That's like the ceiling. As is, just for a couple bucks, you can do it yourself and get a pretty nice HVZ level performance out of this thing. And, I mean, that's for $7. Brand new. Right now. Go to your Walmart. Grab one. There's not much more to say. That's why, it's, that's why despite me being known as the Busby guy, this has been my absolute favorite pistol for the last five years running. And, as of now... Busby did a good job with the Blitz 6, but it's it's a runner-up for sure to the the X-Shot made Destroyer. That's your Venture Force Destroyer. Check out your local Walmart for it, or link will be in the description. But Smuggler Shake saying thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.